condition it is uh, persistent symptoms um, after an acute infection of covid um, for more than 2 months okay so so this this really very clear just very clear definition just came out 2 weeks ago so you have covid the acute infection is 4 weeks if you have any more unexplainable symptoms for 2 months more that is post covid syndrome so a total amount of 3 months of symptoms and above um, which is not explained by something else I mean you don't have dengue you don't have any other uh, heart disease and you still have symptoms after your acute infection that is post covid or long covid one second right here so um, after acute infection meaning tests tested negative for you don't COVID. need to cut uh, from the first day that you were uh, tested positive that's day one your covid acute infection should last four weeks okay and you should be out of it at four weeks right but if you still have symptoms at the eighth week and the twelfth week and above that's post covid post covid that's long COVID. that's three months you know in total mm. well i always advocate that you should be well um about four weeks after your infection okay uh, of course you 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 can give yourself some time you know two weeks after at day 14 you're still a little bit tired um, at um, the third week you're still a little bit tired and you can not probably your, be your 100 percent but at the fourth week you know after a month if you're still having some kind of symptoms which you had previously during the acute i mean during the beginning of infection i think that's when you you should get checked okay. you know it could be something else you know yeah. you never know true so so yeah. when it laps more than yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Like pandai -pandai <laughs> yeah. Lah. when it's expired the time you know you better go and get checked <laughs> yeah yeah uh, don't just hope it's gonna get better yeah general percentage is that within 30 days mm. of um, your covid infection uh, your risk of re-hospitalization is about 5% and above. Mm. Okay. This means that okay, you get COVID on the first of the month, mm. right? Then you recover. Mm. And um, there's a five percent chance that mm -hmm. by the third week you are back in the hospital you are you are you are hospitalized mm -hmm. for not necessarily COVID symptoms, mm -hmm. but other symptoms that increase uh, uh, that uh, other symptoms like infections you know a heart attack that's why I tell all my patients no cardio 30 days from infection mm -hmm. you know you can do things slowly but no you don't stress your your body that much Wayland's nutrition the nutrition brand preferred by healthcare professionals